Hey, welcome back to our video tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple but very cool health bar for our character. So whenever our character's health changes, it's going to update this progress bar. If you haven't already, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and uh, it's giving you any type of value, hit that like button and subscribe. Let's get started. First thing that we are going to do is create a widget. So right click, go to user interface and choose widget. We're going to name this HUD, WG underscore HUD. Open up this widget and on the left side of the screen in the palette, click and drag over a progress bar. Now this is just going to be simple. So we're just going to leave this anchored to the top left, but you can change that over here. Now, on the right hand of the screen under details, let's scroll down to where it says percentage and let's just type in 0.5. Change the color. You don't have to change the color. I'm just going to do this. Now, on the right of percentage or, or, or the, on the right of percent, you want to click bind and choose create binding. Now, this return value over here on this return node, this is what's going to drive uh, this progress bar. Now this progress bar, it only takes normalized values, meaning uh, zero to one. So that's, we're going to require a float to do this. Uh, we need to, well, we need to connect our uh, BP underscore character, our uh, player or character blueprint, which should already have this, it should already have this health variable it's it should be a float if it doesn't uh, because we created this in another tutorial if it doesn't already have this variable go ahead and create it and make it a float and we have a default value of 100 so we need to get this value or this variable over to our hood display so to do that we are going to go over to our event graph go over to event event construct and let's click and drag out. Let's type in valid and choose is valid. So we just want to make sure this is good practice to check to make sure that our player pawn exists. So click and drag off and choose get player pawn. You don't have to do this, but this is just making sure this exists. So from that get player pawn, you want to click and drag off and type in cast to our or your blueprint character. So that's going to be BP underscore character. We're going to connect these two. And we're going to right click or you can drag off and promote this as a variable. So now we have a reference to our uh, player, our player blueprint. So we have that reference now and that's pretty much everything we need. So let's go back to our uh, get percent. Uh, it's actually a function. So let's get over here and rename this get health. Now we want to let's click and drag drag out our reference and choose get click and drag off and type in health. And there's our variable right there. Now there's one last thing that we need to do for this. We need to we need a like I said earlier, we need a normalized value. So we want to click and drag off and type in normal. And we want to choose normal to range. And this is going to give us our range real quick. Uh, let's say this high, the minimum range is a zero and the high range, the maximum range is 200. If this, if the player's health is at 100, this is going to spit out basically 50% or 0.5. If the maximum range is 50 and the player's health is 25 that's going to spit out 50 percent again so it's just going to 
normalize this into a between a zero and a one. So for this max range, our default value or health max that we set is 100. So let's change our maximum range to 100. And I believe that's pretty much it for that. So now if we click the play button, we still don't see anything. That's because we need to add our widget to our uh, to the screen, to the viewport. To do that, navigate to the player blueprint, which is BP underscore character. And on the begin play, you want to click and drag off create widget. So let's create that widget. Choose WG underscore hood. Now from that, you want to click and drag off add to viewport. And that's pretty much it. When we click play, we see our progress bar is on the screen. It's full because our default health value is 100. But as you can see, I have this very menacing floating orb of death. When we run into this orb, it should knock out some of our lives. So let's click that. And as you can see, our life meter is going down. If you found any value in this video, please hit that like button. It takes a half a second, helps a lot. If you wanna see more videos like this, uh, let me know down in the description and hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos in this great tutorial series and you guys, God bless.